One of my favorite uh, Mercedes uh, camper vans, I know I've got a number of them, but I'd have to put there in my top eight, I decided I'd have, uh, is this one here, the uh, Westphalia uh, James Cook uh, camper van. Now this was introduced, if I remember correctly, for the 2019 season, and uh, there's three of these vehicles. There's this one here, which is a classic type. There's the uh, one with a uh, tent in the roof, and there's the one with the high roof. And of the three, uh, if Westphalia are thinking of giving me one, I'd take the one with the high roof. Uh, so uh, this one here, you can see it's on a four by four basis. It's the classic. This is gonna cost 135,200 and 86 so it's under six uh, meters in length uh, it does come with a table it's got a fresh water tank of 100 liters and a uh, wastewater tank of 75 liters if memory serves me correctly and uh, so what have we got here uh, now this is in its uh, uh, movement position as you can see because it's going up uh, some rocks at the front there so we've got a um, well I mean two burners and a sink, although the sink could have a better drainage hole. And at the back, uh, we've got this rather uh, unusual looking design. Why is it looking like this? How many people could fit in that? Or is it for short people only? Well, that could be the case, but uh, short people can use it. This is a slide out and in, uh, I'll have a look, we will have a look uh, at how the slide out goes out a bit later but seeing as i can actually easily reach up the storage at the current time you can see what we've got a storage at the back and uh, the view out the out the window and what the slide out actually looks out look, sorry it looks like when you're in here uh, as i am right now so the bed will become two meters in length and it is one of these uh, frolly systems uh, there's also here, uh, you can see into the garage. Well, I'll take you around the back, seeing into the garage. Uh, we've got a fridge, which is uh, right there. There's the fridge. And here we have got what I think to be a, um, one of the best uh, uh, wet rooms in a Mercedes Sprinter, a short one. The only one's under six meters in length. No, it's really superbly attractive. Uh, the space inside. Let me let me come in. Is it an angle because of it, because of the demonstration? But you can see, look, I've got space up here for my uh, for stand that, and and there's there's you know it's, it's not too bad as far as the space inside goes. Uh, so there's the shower head. And you've got to be very careful with the use of water in vans though, because you're only taking a hundred. I mean, it sounds like a lot, but it goes pretty quickly. I'll just show you a negative side on, and it's, it's that. Okay, it's got, got proper domestic um, drainage, but you know, for something like this, I would really have wanted more than one um, uh, um, drainage uh, point, because even, look, look at this today. Wait, okay, you might not actually park when, but if you're doing off-roading and things like that, uh, you know, at the moment, the water would be all down here. Uh, next to none of it would have gone down there. So that is, uh, that's why I think particularly with four by four, above all, uh, more, more than one drainage hole is absolutely essential, I think. Oh. Oh, sorry, I thought it wasn't gonna open. Uh, it's very close. No, okay, maybe not. It's just, just somewhat close to the uh, the wall, though. Right. Uh, up here, we've got the uh, system uh, from Mercedes. I think I did a video on the whole thing, but it's got very complex uh, where you can see you can set uh, everything by um, app. You can see what what the score is. So you've got the habitation about is 18. It's now 22 degrees outside. Uh, the fridge is off that's the gray water heating's off fresh water's off and uh, the lights on so I can turn the light off and uh, so can, here you go all right so all right so just turn in the bathroom 
let's see if this changes it. Right, so if I go up here and I make it a bit, yeah, sorry, there you go. Can you see that? Is that coming out or not? There you go. I'll put it down again. So you can turn it up and down. And you've got all of these other things as well. So you've got the living room, the heating, uh, every, every, you know, lot, lot, lots of things you can see uh, from up here. Anyway, I'll put it back up there and uh, for the general. So, uh, that was introduced by Mercedes in 20, January 2020. Lots of space up here. Right, um, oh, I didn't show this, did I? If I can get this thing open. Obviously it comes with a mosquito screen as well, pretty essential. And I can see it actually in the, uh, somebody, I heard, or overheard a conversation yesterday, somebody said, oh, that's, look how badly that's been placed. That is the way it has to come in because of the, the door mechanism. Uh, let's have a look at uh, my uh, favorite version, which is over here. Uh, and here we can see that the um, slide out comes out to make a bed, which is two meters in length. And if we come in here, and notice it's got warm water uh, uh, heating in the uh, floor. Uh, we've got an additional bed up there, so that uh, that uh, that's why that's what that's doing up there. Uh, and, um, and here we can see what it looks like when the bed is fully out. Now you might say, oh, it looks a bit like a. Uh, a hospital or something like that inside uh, with the with the coloring um, but I think it makes it rather bright but I do appreciate that such things are not for everybody uh, because there's such a high ceiling got a bit more storage up there do bear in mind however that um, when something's higher then it tends to uh, burn more fuel And around here, we have the tent in the roof. Uh, what version? There we see the slide out. Good view of the slide out. If the slide out breaks, it can, I mean, it, okay, I can appreciate the fact that a motor could go or something of that nature. Then what happens, uh, you can actually uh, wind it back in manually. It's a bit of a bit of an effort but uh, you can do it so this is what this one here looks like at the back and tent in the roof <laughs> It is only a tent, of course. It, uh, it, it's you know, very, very thin, and it's not going to keep you uh, very warm. I don't even know what the situation is in um, uh, when it rains. Uh, presumably, you know, when I was a camper, you had a fly sheet on the outside, and I noticed that Tula actually in one of their tent. Um, tent mounted uh, units has a fly sheet um, over the um, over the tent they have a nylon fly sheet so try to avoid the, the lady doing her work and uh, so that's the James Cook from um, Westphalia, uh, but you saw the prices, and uh, it is a very expensive, if attractive, vehicle. So, thanks very much for being here with me. I upload every day at 21:15, and uh, this I have more videos than any other site. Oh, no, don't clap, it's not necessary. 
not necessary not yet anyway so um, if you uh, if you want those who are clapping just now you might want to subscribe and if you subscribe you'll know when I upload but it's at 2115 every day Central European time so you, you, you've heard that from me but occasionally I put some extra videos up as well and in that case you might want to know when they go up thanks very much for watching Ihrem Hans einen angenommenen Sitzfestrecken Börstag. 